When Frank Mugisha came out two decades ago, being gay in Uganda could be lonely and uncomfortable, but it was rarely a matter of life and death. Since then, Mugisha has emerged as the country's most prominent LGBTQ rights activist. He regularly receives death threats. Because of uh, people knowing about my sexuality, in some times I felt, you know, isolated or shunned in some things. And I also did lose some friends. Politicians and religious organizations have fanned anti-gay sentiment and lobbied for harsh legislation. The parliament last month passed a bill with near-unanimous support that would criminalize even identifying as LGBTQ. Homosexuals have no space in Uganda. The bill is now awaiting President Yoweri Museveni's signature. If Museveni signs it, as he is widely expected to, Mugisha's work could land him up to 20 years in prison under a provision that punishes the, quote, promotion of homosexuality. And yet, Mugisha says he will not give an inch in the face of the new bill. He said he feels an obligation to fight back on behalf of LGBTQ Ugandans, many of whom have left the country or fled their homes for safe houses since the bill was passed. The Ugandan population has been radicalized to fear and hate homosexuals. And the challenge is, this is at the local level. It is mostly in uh, local social media, TikTok and WhatsApp messages, markets. Um, and the talk everywhere, there is talk about homosexuality negatively. So many of these Ugandans live in these areas which are densely populated, uh, slums, suburbs. So for some of them, life has become very difficult. They can't stay there anymore. In 2011, Mugisha's friend Kato was killed months after a local newspaper printed the names, photographs and addresses of him and others in the LGBTQ community. The article called for them to be hanged. The police said the murder was unconnected to his sexual identity, but Mugisha is certain it was. He considered leaving Uganda then. But he stayed and led the campaign against a law enacted in 2014 that stiffened penalties for same-sex relations. That law was ultimately voided by the courts on procedural grounds. Mugisha is hoping for a similar outcome this time.